Good afternoon. Today on DIY Solar Power Papa, we finally connected the lithium iron phosphate batteries in a 48 volt in series to this 6 kilowatt grow watt off grid low frequency inverter. And we are, we have our our um, AC getting ready to kick on, and we finally got it to work with lithium iron phosphate batteries. We have a soft start on it. We've tried starting up our three and a half and four ton with this um, rack battery, which is lithium iron phosphate. It's 51.2 volts, 100 amp hour, 51 20 watt hours, and it's supposed to be able to start it up. I don't know if it's in the settings or the communication. Um, I've tried a bunch of different things and I've been unsuccessful at being able to start that. When I talked to um, Signature Solar, where I bought these grow watts, they told me that everybody that's tried to start it with just one of these server rack batteries um, is having a problem. They have mill do it and they had to buy a second one and they were able to do it. Um, I don't know. It could be done with one. I haven't been able to figure it out yet. But I do have these four 12 volt, two kilowatt uh, battery Evo batteries that I just got another two yesterday. So I was running them on the 24 volt system over here. And now I have them hooked up here. And we're waiting for the. Um, three and a half ton to start up on that. Some of the things that we were doing since this morning, <laughs> we, uh, we installed these breakers right here. We finally got rid of all of our marine auto uh, breakers. These worked well for us for the first two years, two, three years. And when they tripped, when they were working, they were like that. When they tripped, it popped down there. You'd have to wait about 30 seconds. You'd hear a pop, and then you could reset this. And you can probably get 5 to 15 trips on this, and then it was just junk. It wouldn't work anymore. So we finally got around to buying just some breakers meant for off-grid solar. So we have... Two on these right here for the 12 kilowatt and the 6 kilowatt. This is a 5 kilowatt system, and we have a 100 amp on there. Those are 125 amp. There we go. Oops. Oh, we had a uh, over voltage there. Something was going on with that. Um, working on that but uh, it has something to do with the um settings anyways we are have these new breakers installed here and we just ran all this wiring right here this is really weird because on this right here on these um mp solars the negative, see if you can see that right there, negative is on the right and the positive is on the left. And over here, um, the grow watts, the positive is on the right and the negative is on the left. So when you go to wire these up, you can go straight shot down. But with these MP solars, you have to crisscross so there's a half inch air gap there on that one and there's actually an air gap there on that one and that one so we just started this up on that three and a half ton ac it's running right now and let's see okay our load is 1.78 kilowatts and we're pulling 34 amps out of our battery right now. 
and we had no solar. I just connected the solar down here. So we were we pulled 34 amps and that's our running amps right now that we're pulling out of there. What's coming in on see if it's connected yet. No, it's not connected yet. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so we have one point 1.7, it's still going up. Okay, right around 1.74 on our kilowatts coming in, 32 amps coming in on 84 volts. And down here, oops, our battery, we're using, we're not using anything right now. So we're holding our battery at 52.5, 52.78. Now we're pulling an amp, no amps. So we're hanging right around there in the 52.6, 52.7. And we're running it. We started it up and we're running it off of these lithium iron phosphate batteries. Four of them in series. So we have eight kilowatt hours. So we finally got our grow watt to start it up with the lithium iron phosphate. The nice thing about this is I actually have this set up right now where I plugged in these Anderson 175 cables that I bought. It was like $40 for this uh, series for four to make a 48 volt battery bank. And then I have it connected with this. This came with, this cable came with one of the batteries. And it um, makes it really easy where I can switch these. Um, right now I could turn this, set this, turn this off, turn this off, and I could go between the AGM, which is now on a quick disconnect, and I could disconnect that one over there and connect it to the lithium iron phosphates. And the same thing over here, this is on a quick disconnect, and we're gonna set this up for a quick disconnect. We're waiting for the cable to come tomorrow. And we'll have all this set up on Anderson Quick Disconnects so that if we need to do something, we can switch it around. And it makes it pretty darn easy to be able to move this stuff around. Um, the uh, got some new um, breaker boxes over here. We actually have, this is our three and a half, I mean our six kilowatt um, breaker box. And this is our 12 kilowatt uh, breaker box. And that's a 200 amp main on that one. And also on that one. Got a really good deal on those. They, uh, they came with a 30 amp breaker and then three of these 20 amps included with it on both of these and it was only 40 44 dollars each i think it was um to get the breaker box with four breakers so <laughs> that was a great deal it was less than i think it was right around 90 92 bucks out the door for that break two breaker boxes with those um eight breakers so we had to buy some more and add to it but now we have that hooked up to that and inside of that we have it grounded and bonded so we now have these grow watts grounded and bonded um, in there and that makes that much easier those are running the air conditioners and we now are running our pool heater our 12 and 12.7 ton pool heater that was pulling like 160 some amps on each of the 120 120 volt legs and it dropped it down to about 42 to 59 amps and now we can start it up and run with this 12 kilowatt so and we also put in grid assist where we have our grid power coming in and then we distribute the 240 to there's three breakers right there so we have a breaker for the 12 kilowatt, 6 kilowatt, and 5 kilowatt MPP. So just wanted to let you know.
Finally got that uh, air conditioner hooked up, the heat pump, and we're running on lithium iron phosphate batteries. They do have a sale going on right now where if you put in battery, you can get 10% off um, for the uh, price of these. And I'm in Arizona, so for this battery, whatever the price is, on the web page for batteryevo.com that's what you pay there's no tax and there's no shipping it's shipped for free and it takes about five four to six days and you'll have that at your doorstep and you can order the cables for these anderson cables the 175s and you can also order um chargers they're like 169 bucks you can get them in 12 24, 36, or 48 volt chargers. So if I wanted to get a 12 volt, I'd have to charge each one of these individually. If I got a 24 volt, I'd have to paralyze or parallel two of these together and then the Anderson cable out here that I would parallel it, I could do that. And if I want to do 48 volt, I could disconnect this and charge it with this. If for some reason my inverter is down, I could connect it with the Anderson. They come with Anderson 175 cables. I could connect it to that, and then I could charge it off of this one, this one. or um, I'd have to do it off of one of those two because that's 48 volt, either this, this one or this one. So they have a lot of stuff there if you want to check it out. And use the coupon code BATTERY, B-A-T-T-E-R-Y. You get a 10% discount. That's going on, I think, until the 15th of December of 2022. So please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day. I know I will running these lithium iron phosphate batteries. See you in the next video.